everyone, it's me again. Uh, welcome back to another live stream. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Um, even though we've, this is strictly speaking the second take. Yeah, it was a bit weird. Um, yeah. Where the first bit <coughs> didn't have you, well, it had you playing, but didn't have you um, moving around. Yeah. Um, the bit was frozen. Yeah, we were running a bit late, um, so kind of just came running straight into, um, well, I had it all set up. And then Cole just came in and just jumped on the piano and started playing. And only when I started looking at the screen and I thought, hang on, that's a bit odd. Um, yeah. But it's working. Um, hopefully, um, audio is fine. I think I sound a bit odd. In my ear, it sounds a bit odd. I'm not sure why, though, um, because we're trying a new setup with wireless mics plugged in a different way. So hopefully it works fine. And the only gremlin that we had is the, the bit at the beginning where the um, logo, well, not logo, the... the the, the, the background just froze. Mm. and uh, But it actually sounds better in my ear anyway, generally. Great. So that's good. So what do you want to do? Do you want to tell everyone about what's, why, how busy you've been? Okay. And then do a <clears> little <throat> bit. But yeah, since the last live stream, I've... It's really cool that we can see your slippers. Do you want to show people? These are, this is my slipper. Yeah. Yeah. You're not sure you were meant to wear slippers to play piano, oh, but what, actually, what, I don't whatever. know. <laughs> yes. Um, when was the last live stream, actually? A month ago. A month ago? Yeah, because you, you've been on Song Academy, jazz, and all that kind of oh, stuff. it really was a month ago. Yeah. Or three weeks ago. Or whatever. I know it is a month ago. But I don't know. It's but about a month ago. Long time ago. Um, but yeah, uh, so I've been on... Well, since my last live stream, I've been to St. Uh, Battersea and St Pancras. Um, I've been on a couple of music camps, um, and I went to watch Arsenal play and draw. Oh, that was shocking. Um, but anyways, chronologically, uh, so first I went to Battersea. I think it was sixth of August or something, fifth of August. Um, yeah. And and that's where Emma almost died. Yeah, Emma almost died because an umbrella fell off the top floor. Or the floor above, I actually did. Which was a bit floor. weird. And then nearly hit him on the head, which was quite... Well, not funny. Um, but well, it is funny because well, it, it didn't hit her. It wouldn't have been funny if it actually did hit him. on yes. the head. Yes, it's funny because it didn't hit her. But um, but that was quite cool. Because you met someone else who was playing there, which was quite quite fine. Yeah. So, played a few tunes. Um, a couple of them already up on the channel. Uh, and hopefully more to come. Uh, but, yeah. Um, yes. And then you went to Song Academy. Then I went on a camp to for song singing, Academy. songwriting, or whatever. Yeah, so that's for songwriting camp. Uh, wrote wrote a song. Yeah. You're very good. Um, songs called um, Bliss Naivety, and I wrote it with another person called Holly. Um, so we do all the co-writing stuff at um, the camp. Um, it's a song about um, it's like growing up as a child, and the older you grow. Seem to lose this naivety. Um, yeah, so that's, um, I think that's up on the Song Academy song SoundCloud page, page, I think. Is it? Um, a demo of it. Oh, okay. um, so if you want to listen to it, you can listen to it. Um, and I've got a recording on, on a phone phone. Um, so obviously that'll go on Patreons because I'm not sure if we're allowed to send it out public, public. But, but it'll be with Patreons at some point. Yep. Um, and then after that, so that was from the, actually no, that was from the 9th to the 12th of August. And then on the 13th of August, I went to another camp, which, which was, was basically uh, you came home and then left the next day. Yeah. So that was the National Youth Jazz Collective Summer School. So I went to um, school in Kent, really big school with no Wi-Fi for a whole week. Um, and I basically played jazz the whole time in our combo. Had for five weeks worth of con jazz. Weeks worth of jazz. Yeah. Um, and then had a performance at the end, which was quite cool. And you've seen a clip of it um, on my channel. Well, you already. went stuck on Flight of the Bumblebee in yeah. the middle of jazz. In the middle of my solo um, on the on one of my tunes. So that was cool. Um, ooh, that's not good. Um, but yeah, so now I've come back and then I went out to St Pancras um, and played more stuff um, and went to watch Arsenal and we were rubbish. It felt like we lost. But yeah. But hey. But anyway, enough of that. You can talk about other stuff in the middle, otherwise people will just be sitting here listening to you talk. So what do you want to do first? Um, well, the first song I'm going to... is a song I'm going to sing, because um, why not? I Left My Heart in San Francisco by Tony Bennett, uh, who passed away 
about a month ago, I think. Um, can't remember how long ago. Yeah. It wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago. Bad tribute. But yeah, so I the song, because it's a cool song. Um, yeah. Okay. And you're going to be singing it? Yes, I'm going to be singing so it. So I have, have the press mic. button, press buttons. Okay, I think it's ready. The loveliness of Paris Seen some outside the gate The glory that was Rome Is of another day I've been terribly alone and forgotten in Manhattan. I'm going home to my city by the bay. I left my heart in San Francisco. So that is I Left My Heart in San Francisco by Tony Bennett. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That's pretty cool. I didn't actually know that felt. How short is it? I mean, it's not short, short. Just under three minutes. Oh, I, I, I think. think. Yeah. Sorry, I, I'm clicking stuff to buttons. No, that's really nice. That's what you normally say. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Do you want to move that mic out of the way, or are you plan to sing other stuff? Uh, well, I'm not planning to sing any other stuff. But it's there in case you do. Yeah. And it's all set up in the in the back now that I don't have to unplug stuff and destroy things and then try to work out why one mic is working or not working. But yes, uh, Tony Bennett um, passed away. Um, I think Scott just confirmed. Scott Daw Dawson just confirmed. It was in about just over a month ago. So um, that was a long, um, a long life, which is uh, fantastic and great inspiration. Yeah. Yes. So, carry on telling people what you were doing. What I was doing? Well, before you got to the point where um, jazz, you've come back. Oh, your exams. Oh, yeah. Uh, my exam, my GCC exam results came back and they were all right. Well, I say all right, they were pretty good. Um, Seven, eight, nines, Seven, eight, basically nine. B's and A's and uh, an A star. So strictly speaking, A's and everything, and then English Lit, I got a B, but whatever. Yeah. You're rubbish. You got a B in French. So I know. You should. 
Shut your mouth. <laughs> yes, and you got a. I you got, got an, an A in French. Yes. Well, you beat me in French, ah. but I beat you in English lit. Well, that's true. Yeah, um, and you beat me in music, where well, you got an A star in music oh, quite a while ago, obviously. Um, when yeah. did you do your um, music? Uh, it was was it first time November first yeah. time. So yeah, well, it's cool. And I so, got A star. You got a star. A star. A A star. What, what's that? An A star. Yeah. Yes, A star. Well done. Thank you. Yes. But anyway, so you're you're going to be obviously going back to school soon. Is this next week? Next week, I'm back at school. This time next week, I will be at the Arsenal game. But after that, I'll be going back straight to school. Yes. Because um, you're going to school on Saturday to help people um, bed in. Yeah. And then on get. Sunday, I leave, come back again. So go watch Arsenal and go straight back in. Yeah. So basically, school. you go to school on Saturday, you leave school on Sunday, go straight back to school on Sunday. Yeah. Because there's a bit of Arsenal bit in the middle. I think it's a bit more convenient going on Saturday, generally for me, because it's just I can unpack everything. Yes. Oh, there's no problem. Um, do you get to claim a room? Or, well, there's well, you certain don't know rooms, yet, do you? and I think being in sixth form, I'm almost certainly having my own room. But that yeah. depends on how many people show up, as in, like, if there are way what? too many in... sixth formers, they might get year 12. How many sixth formers are there, normally? Enough for all the small rooms. Oh, OK. Which is are, a you lot. This, are you in the same boarding house? Oh, this means nothing to anyone on, on the... I'm in the same the boarding thing. house. Oh, OK. Yeah. It's the girls that have a separate one, right? It's just that you guys are the same. So, no, that's cool. Very good. Yeah. Um, and what are you doing in your A-levels? Uh, music. Music, yeah. tech, maths and physics. So four? Yeah. Yeah, fine. I did four, but I did double maths. Did better, double maths. Better, better than you. So oh. there you go. What? <laughs> it's I'm doing music and music tech. So yeah, but music, music is nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Music is nonsense. <laughs> yes. That's unbelievable. Yes, I know. Anyway, so what? Um, but anyway, you, you did what? Did all right. Well enough in GCSE, so well done, as yeah. people have said. What does GCSEs like go towards? It's like you try and get into like sixth form schools. Yes, but you're you're in your sixth form, so it kind of is meaningless. Yeah. Um, and then after A levels is university, and they base it on what they think you are going to get, and then you have to go get your your A level results. That's the uh, that's where it matters. But the um, GCSE, it's not that they're meaningless, but they are um, useful as yeah. a guide. And then you drop half of them because you then focus on three or four um, hmm. A-levels. Right, okay, so what are you planning to do next? Uh, well, the next song I'm going to play is Seven Years, because it's been seven years since my dad asked me to play it. Well, it feels like right, it anyway. That's a dad joke that you're not allowed to do until you're a dad. Um, um, but someone did ask for it recently, I think. And has it been seven years since it's been... I have no idea. When, when was it released? Because I was gonna, about to make the joke. Lucas Graham, was... quite a long time. Um, I don't think it was released seven years ago. I feel like it was. It was around that time. I think, in my ear, my voice is even deeper than it is. Because I think whatever the thing I've plugged this new setup in has somehow made my voice even deeper. 17th of November 2015, so eight years ago. Oh, wow, okay. So well, you should, that, you should have done it last Seven years, years and something. Okay, so it still just fits. Right, so you're going to yeah. do seven years old, Lucas Graham, as a piano cover. Yes. Yes. Uh, one second. Are you ready? Um, I, I'm asking you ready. I for me am. To I'm going to hit record. Because I need to actually test stuff as well. Should I move this away? Actually, I should move the mic away as well. That looks disgusting on camera. Yeah, move the mic out of the way. You can always just move it. Um... It's not on, is it? No, I've muted it. It's really good. Otherwise, you've got bang, 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 as you're moving it across. That'll do. You guys can't see um, the complete mess that is around us. Yeah. Um, apart from obviously, it looks looks nice on the screen, but it's complete mess around us. Mm. Oh. Um, okay. Right. Um, what is this? Um, seven years. Seven old. years. Is it seven years or is it seven years old? Seven years. Oh, it's okay. called seven years. Ah. Okay. No, he didn't write it when he was seven years old. No, no, but it's just what it was called. But anyway, go on. Yeah. Seven years old.
So that was Seven Years by Lucas Graham. I hope you guys enjoy that one. Yeah. Old. What? I'm just at old at the end of the seven years. In my head, it's called Seven Years Old. I know I'm clearly wrong, but it, you are clearly forever, wrong. Forever, it is going to be known as Seven Years Old. You're just clearly wrong. Yes. Um, Funny Boy actually said, um, I, "Oh my God, I used to love it when I was so young." And I've asked, "How old is he like? Uh, how old is he?" As in, um, as in, it was a long time ago. Mm. You, by the way, you've got loads of patrons on. Including Destiny, who, who had, went uh, brain surgery um, just before. Well, sorry, just after our live stream, and Destiny's here, so that's fantastic. So, uh, and she's saying she's coping and managing, so that's that's brilliant. Um, Severus, <laughs> the dog from Harry Potter, that replaced uh, Ranger, um, is Severus. doing well. Severus, that's it. We were Severus. Severus. I was thinking severely. Severus. Severus uh, is is doing well, uh, as well. I mean, I might have it wrong. I, I don't think you do. I'm pretty sure it's Severus. Actually, Severus. Severus. I'm uh, back into the forest, but I'm not. I'm going to put you back in the dungeon. That's much more fun. Like how the, the main backgrounds of live stream are like really dark places. It, do you terrible. know why it has to be? It, you don't realise it. It's because... If you if we edit the green or I edit because you don't do editing. If we edit the green screen, I can get it to. Can you see in your in your in the screen the reflection on the piano lid, not the top lid, the the above ab above the keys. Yeah. It you can see the green screen through it. Mm. It's because there's a slight green reflection on it. If I and there we go, I'll make it look horrible. Oh, no. I know, I've probably got rid of it already. But if I change it, it's not that it make it look horrible, but if I do, uh, I'm trying to find one of them. There you go. If I do this, um, you will see no that actually, reason. well, you'll see it in a second. You'll see that it actually reflects through. Well, not reflects. Because of the green reflection, the green screen image goes through the piano. Oh, wait. I can see the like, other green screen in the piano lid. Yes. But I haven't, I haven't I, quite seen it. No, so yeah. depending when it comes through, you'll see that the Lewis Capaldi oh, bit yeah. goes through. So when it's dark, it's not as obvious, which is why I always kind of pick like the forest or the dungeon. So it either looks like a reflection, um, but where you, there are some other green, uh, green screen backgrounds, which actually look very nice because they're you know, brighter, but it looks horrible with the way the green screen works live. But when it's edited, I can remove all the green screen from the piano. But we can't do that live, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, yeah. But it's brilliant. It got it in the end. Uh, but no, I really like that. Um, as um, Funny Boy says, um, I liked it when I was so young too, albeit not that young. Mm. Um, I actually like a lot of them where they have stories in the song. Louis Capaldi does that a lot, like Someone You Loved. Um, and what's the other one? Before you go, there's a lot of story in the uh, um, the song, which I think is brilliant. So good, right? So I'm looking at a lot of requests. Um, where is it going? Um, I've got a few requests written down. You want me to put my earphones? You on. can do, but you can say thank you to the Sonic Channel for the, his super chat as well. Um, Thank you for the super chat. And he asked, what is your opinion on Declan Rice's first match? Well, first match for Arsenal, obviously. First because, ever um, match. Well, basically their first match is... Great. Well, how do you, well what do you think of, of 100 and... What was it? 105 million or something stupid. Yeah. 105 million... Uh, what's it called? Pounds. Um, he wasn't a record transfer, but he was a British... To British record transfer. <laughs> yeah, record br br transfer. British, English Premier League to English Premier League transfer. Um, yeah, and it was held for like two weeks. Yes, until, what was it, Caicedo. Um, Chelsea basically has spent nearly a billion pounds, which is ridiculous. Um, yeah. And they're still rubbish, which is um, funny. But what, mm. do you, what do you reckon of him? Great. Like, really cool and... Makes our 
defence much more. Apart from? Apart from when the defence becomes rubbish. Like yesterday? Like yesterday. We've let in three goals within one minute of the start, three times. Sorry, well, uh, let in the goal within the first minute of kickoff three times this, this year. Which is ridiculous. Which is, frankly, stupid. Um, but um, actually, whilst we're ha at this, uh, as a thank you to the, um, the Sonic channel for the Super Chat as well, who asked a question, um, there was a request. And this time, he didn't ask for a Sonic thing, which is what he normally does. Um, and he actually said, can you play the Ultra Instinct Goku Ultimate Battle theme, please? Wait, can I? Shall I put it in the chat? No, just say it again. Ultra Instinct Goku, or Goku, Ultimate Battle theme. An Ultra Instinct? Goku, G-O-K-U, I know nothing, I'm assuming Instinct this is game. Instinct Goku. Ultimate Battle theme. Ultimate... Battle... That's battle with two T's. Battle theme. 74 million views. Wow, what is it? Is no, it a game? that's the wrong one. Is it a game? Wait, is it Dragon Ball Super? Uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah, so it must be from Dragon Ball. Literally... Okay, Sonic well, this one's just... got 74 million views. So I'm guessing it's that one instead of something completely random. Oh, but that's a cover. Wait, 74 million for a cover? Right, you need to do that as a cover in public. That's amazing. As I said. Oh, by the way... Your Bohemian Rhapsody has crossed 120 million views. As a cover? Yes, as a cover. That's impressive. Yes, as also in, in public. But 74 million for a cover is, is amazing. Wait, there... but I have no idea which one's the right one. I'm guessing... Probably not the cover. Because I've just listened to a second one, which is just different. Presumably it is from a TV show, because I know Dra um, Dragon Ball. Maybe it's this. Maybe I just played this one instead. And whilst you're doing that, I am copying a request down, um, everyone. So bear with me whilst I am copying down and then sending it across. Um, Tonic Channel said yes, and also Dan, on the basis that presumably you've got the right one. Huh? No, carry on. Oh, I thought you were saying, oh, this is the right one. I think so. So radio silence whilst Cole is playing in his ear because we're not allowed to uh, do it. The Sonic Channel says the co cover one is better. But they're, just, they're two different things. I don't know. Oh, I've lost it now. Duff. <laughs> God's sake. Right. Apologies whilst Cole is uh, clumsy with his deck. Ultra uh, Instinct. Goku bat ultimate battle. Maybe it's this one. Oh no, it's the same one. Never mind. Get on with it. Actually, what was interesting when we were out in um, St Pancras yesterday, um, there was a, a little girl and her mum, who was French, came from <coughs> France, um, and actually called it a play by ear for a French song, and they said it was really good. Um, I have no idea what it is. I couldn't hear it. And <laughs> Cole doesn't know what he played. Um, but apparently it was accurate, which is, which is good. Um. Right, I'm just copying down a few more requests. So thank you for the requests. Uh, as before, as usual, please don't spam. I normally do have them written down. Um, especially yours, fans, though, which I copied right at the very beginning. I'm assuming this is complicated, otherwise Cole wouldn't be listening for so long. No, I just don't know if I'm listening to the right bit, because it's completely different to the other one I was listening to. Okay. Oh, well. Right, so this is that one, that and hopefully it's the right one. <laughs> Is 
like the one with 74 million on it. Supposedly. Well, I assume you got it right. Um, yeah. I'm assuming um, Sonic Channel will come on uh, soon and say, is You're it wrong. good or it's rubbish? Well, there you are. Um, but <clears throat> if, maybe you should do uh, in public and get 74 million views uh, in public. What is it anyway? It's a, it's a theme. Presumably it's a theme song to it's an, ultimate an, an anime. Theme. Ultra Instinct Goku. Yeah, an anime of some kind. Yeah. I think I've, I've, I've seen it before. Well, oh, yeah. I've seen the uh, image before. I've not actually ever seen um, the cartoon. Okay. Anime. Right, why don't we do something that hopefully we don't have to spend five minutes looking at you. Um, uh, oh, where's it gone? I just lost it. It's just this bit off the top of my page. Um, yeah, sorry. I was about to say, so we don't have to watch you for five minutes. So Destiny, as a... Um, I know, as a... Th thankfully, you're, you're, you're good. And also... In honor of Severus, who apparently is seventy-four pounds, that sounds extremely heavy. Asked, "Can you play the Harry Potter theme?" One second. How many Harry Potter themes are there? The only one I know is this one. I mean, there's probably loads, but yeah. this one's probably the main one. Hagrid's theme, isn't it? Is that Hagrid's theme? Hedwig's theme. Hedwig. Who's Hagrid? Hagrid is a really tall man. Who's Hedwig then? It's the owl. Oh, that makes a lot uh, more sense. Ooh, I was yeah. going, hang on. Hagrid is enormous. Why is that? Is that when the owl flies in and delivers stuff? I guess so. I don't know. I don't know either. I remember watching all the movies a long time ago and I then fell asleep. Because <laughs> they're really long. And the last two movies, which is what... Well, last movie, which is split into two, is even longer. True. Um, and, um, yes. Actually, we haven't seen the um, the one in the theatre. Um, Just going to be ten hours long. Yeah, because it's split into two, isn't it? Mm. Ari, who who came into... Um, Kevin, you, you met... Well, well, your patron. In fact, as I said, there's many patrons on here. Uh, who came into the UK and um, watched two... Watch them back to back, which is extreme. Mm. Um, yeah. But that's cool. Right. Let's do um, one that I don't think you know. Swifty Forever, uh, near the beginning, asked for uh, an Audi song, but not the two that you probably know. Una Ma Matina? Una Matina. Do you know? I might. Sounds familiar. Oh. But I need to listen. Because I might be getting the wrong one. So I don't want to like start playing the wrong song. The wrong song. Oh, there's in um, the clouds one. I don't know. Could be anything. For this I experience. Know, I could start playing Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, well, clearly that's not by an Audi. I know. That's an example. Yes, very okay. clever. Uh, Simon Chan says, have you seen the new Harry Potter movie? What new Harry mu Potter movie? The answer is no. But what Harry new, new Harry Potter movie? Now I'm interested. I will look. You carry on look up Una Mat Matina. <laughs> Too late. I'm about to say Una um, Matata. Ooh, but Harry you... Potter and the Cursed Child. So that it's going to be a movie. Ah, okay. Next year. Anyways. So the answer will be no. 
Not yet, anyway. To just checking. Yes. Well, Una I Tandem. guess I have now Harry Potter content to create and think about for the next six months. What do you mean? As in ready for the next Harry Potter one? Yeah, in case we get three months late like we did with Wednesday. Yes. And like we probably will do with Barbie. And I oh, yes, you, did, you played Barbie. Um, and I don't even the Barbie know song. Oppenheimer. What can I do We've not watched Oppenheimer yet. We haven't watched Barbie either. Yes, but that's true. What, what song, what's like the Oppenheimer theme? I have no idea. I'm not what's up, but I know I'm a Barbie girl because that was out ages ago. Okay, I don't really know it, but I will play. Una Matina. That sounds like Doctor Dre. It does sound like it's Dr. Dre at the beginning. Maybe I'll play the wrong thing. Yes. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not Dr. Dre. But play the beginning again. I'm going to listen to it again. I'm sure it, it may sound like that. Well, I'm getting it something wrong. As in, it sounds like a bit of the kind of meme part. It's of not meant to sound like the... It's actually meant this. But that sounds like Dr. Dre. No, that bit doesn't sound like Dr. Dre. Exactly, so I'm playing yeah. it, I was playing it wrong. Yeah. That sounds different from the earlier one, so I'm guessing it's closer. Yeah. yeah, whereas the first bit sounded like a bit like Dr. Dre, but um, anyway, um, who asked? Funny Boy said, if you were in a Harry Potter movie, which house would you be? Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin or Gryffindor? I would be dead. What, you'll be one of the dead ghosts? Yeah. No, which one of the, <laughs> uh, obviously in the kids, which one would you be? Uh, people have been telling me I'm a Ravenclaw. And I don't know which one's I mean. Ravenclaw? The blue one. I don't know. And I have no idea what that means, but there you are. So you're not Slytherin, which is kind of the sneaky evil people. You're not Harry Potter's group, who are supposedly the heroes. You're one of the two random people yeah. other houses that, that are meaningless, that just had to be there. Yeah. So I'm meaningless and I just had to be yes. there. Yes. That's what people told me. I'm meaningless and I had to be there. Yeah, very good. Supposedly that's what Ravenclaw is. Yeah. Actually, speaking of Funny Boy, um, they he actually wrote... Um, I've, did, I've done another Canon and D on my piano, and he's also done a rock version of Canon and D. Cool. Can you do a rock version of Canon and D? And I, and, I appreciate, and I appreciate you're going to do that every single time just to annoy me. Ha ha. So very now good. you've said it. Yes. Every now single thing punished. will end like no, that. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. No I'm way. sure. I did that last time. Yes, I know. I'm going to do it again, but it'll just get boring. Please not. Um, yeah, very good. Ha ha. Yes. Okay, I'll stop. Uh, right. So, um, Gavin Shepherd, um, who is one of your patrons, um, said, and asked, could you play Band of Brothers theme by Michael Kamen, K-A-M-E-N, but the Band of Brothers is TV, actually a TV series I've always wanted to watch but never have. Well, what's it called? Band of Brothers. 
Band of Brothers. It's a TV, TV show, TV series. So it's just going to be a theme. Yes. By who? Michael Kamen. But a similar, well, I'm guessing that's... Ma is Michael K-A-M-E-N. Oh, I've just started playing Una Martina. So sure I'm going to find it on YouTube. I'm sure if you just look up Band of Brothers uh, theme, it must be there. Okay, Band of Brothers theme, bang. Whoosh. 7.1 million views. Yeah, it's kind of like it Game of Thrones theme or whatever themes you, you probably don't need to know the conductor or the composer even. Apparently Ravenclaw is the smartest one. Oh, great. <laughs> That's what Destiny said. But Destiny may just be being nice to you. I suppose the Ravenclaw is just the irritating one. What? Uh, Sonic Channel. Chi, how many years have you supported Arsenal? Wow. 40 plus years, I think. I'm trying to think how old I am. It must be 40 plus years. Basically, as soon as I remember. I remember... How far can I remember? Well, uh, winning 2-0 at Anfield would be the most obvious old memory. But that was when you were like 16. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yes, about your age. So it's about time we won something for you. But I don't, we, we didn't quite win the league six, when I was 16. No, well, maybe 17. Hopefully next year. Yeah. Well, well. Anyways, I'm going to actually listen to this. Get on with it. So Band of Brothers theme. It's in between notes. I cannot detune my piano, which is annoying. Ooh. Okay, look, I've copied your question down. Just so I can ask Cole, I'm not sure what he's promised, to be honest. Or <laughs> he may have forgotten. Uh, Cheat, you're 40. Uh, no, I'm 49. Soon to be 50. Right, so this is the Band of Brothers theme. That sounds familiar, which probably means not only is it close, it's I've probably heard bits of Band of Brothers already before. Cool. Right. Um, rather than having uh, people keep watching you listen, Don has asked his usual request of how about Don't a say. bit of... Don't! Rock and roll. But you don't play that one. Play something else. You must have other rock and rolls. Uh... Chow House Rock, you haven't played Chow Crazy House. Crazy Little Yeah, that'll do. That's also rock and roll. asked uh, a while ago apparently you you agreed or promised to think of a song or do make uh, try a song do you know who what it was wait who kayla d kayla d you obviously don't remember and i've uh, i've actually um pinged uh, message one well, typed in the chat just to ask in case it's something you have done and uh was i mean i might about have it. and then i probably forgot yes um and also maybe you've done it and um maybe kayla d wasn't around uh we don't know Right, okay, um, I'm just, Chad Hodge, uh, another one of your patrons, my patrons, um, also I spotted Eric Schwingenberg earlier, favourite one, because <laughs> I can practice the name, can you play Faithfully by Journey, there's another one that you get asked for a lot of form by Journey, but I don't think it's this one, don't stop believing, that's it, 
And it was faithfully. Yeah, this one is faithfully, as opposed to um, Don't Stop Believing. Why is the album Dinner With My Darling? That's not the right album. Probably this one. Well, Greatest might be. hits, there we are. It's close enough. Well, it might be, how do you know? Well, I'm probably just the same thing you just put on a random, random playlist. Yeah. But um, By the way, Gavin said that was excellent for Band of Brothers. Thank you. Sorry, I'm interrupting you listening, so I shouldn't do that. Oh, by the way, um, next Sunday, probably, and this is a probably, not a commitment, probably Cole will be playing at St Pancras before the game. Um, so hopefully, uh, it was all about timing. Because um, at school, as I said, on Saturday, they're help he's helping new students acclimatise, then on Sunday, helping them acclimatise, and then he'll head into... London to watch the game and then head back. So we're not really sure what's going to happen. As in, does he do it before, does he do it after, or whichever way around it is. Um, it may actually be that we don't even get to play because, well, Cole doesn't get to play because um, what time he, he gets to leave school. What? Sorry, never mind. I thought I missed something, but... So this is Faithfully by Johnny. Okay. bits of that Great. which sorry I missed the button um, which probably means it's again actually journey what when was journey big 90s you probably don't know probably um, there's sounds whole, like 90s yeah there's 80s. a whole bunch of songs that I kind of recognize like don't stop believing I recognize bits of that um, I do remember them as a band but I wasn't particularly musical. I didn't really follow much music apart from the big, massive, obvious ones like Michael Jackson, Madonna, and all those. But I do remember uh, bits like that, that um, which was cool. Mm. But um, I remember that, um, what was it? The other one, Don't Stop Believing. Um, yes, anyway, sorry. My brain's kind of just uh, thinking a, 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 a few more things at the moment. Um, right, okay. There is one more um, that I uh, was coming earlier. Fanzo, you've been told, every time you ask, I put you with your request to the back of this, and others have reminded you that too. I am going to continue doing that. So please stop asking. OK, SAJ Europe. Um, ask for X Japan Yoshiki. In fact, I'm going to type, copy it in the chat, because you can then look it up. Um, okay. And it said it's a different style, which is quite interesting. X Japan Yoshiki. Yoshiki. Yeah. Drum solo. Uh, okay. Now, where is it? I know. So, what am I looking for? I know, but actually, what am I looking for? I don't know. X Japan Yoshiki. It's X Japan the song. No, Yoshiki's the artist. I'm guessing Yoshiki's the song. No, Yoshiki's the artist. Oh. So maybe X Japan it. is the song. Oh, okay. Now, which one? Maybe it's on... It could be on Amazon Music. Um... If it's not there, then... It is you... there, but it just says drum solo. Maybe that's what they meant by it's different. 
But is, if drum solo is just, just percussion, I think you remember you telling me... I'm not if really just play drum solo on the piano unless I like slap the piano. Yeah, that's what I mean. I remember you telling me drum solos don't translate. Oh no, he says, it's 80s, no, the guy. I don't know what that means. On the chat. What am I meant to be listening to? Is that, I can't be the right The group one. is X Japan. There you go. What? Oh wait, you're right. The group is X Japan. Yeah. No, but I'm still not sure if I'm listening to the right one. Wait, Yoshiki is it? Yes, maybe Yoshiki. I'm, maybe I'm spelling it wrong. No, I don't think I, no, I, no, no, I don't know. Well, if you can't find it, or... Um, Drum solo after two necks? No, wait, no, that's the wrong one. But why that's... I don't know. Wait, extra pat. What? I'm so confused. If you can't find it, we can, we can jump to another one. Can we jump to another one? Wait. Um, I'll ask SAJ Europe maybe to send a link. I'm not sure if you can actually put a link or put um, what you would look up on YouTube to find it. I'm uh, not if I'm touching on the right one, but okay. Yeah. But if SAJ Europe can um, type in the search term in YouTube and Cole can look it up. Right. Um, subscriber, great name, 2692, says a thousand stars for you by Christoph Luciano. I'm actually. Um, Probably know, suggesting that we do something that you you know, otherwise this is going to descend into um, stuff that we are just watching you listen, which is probably not a good idea. So what is it? Um, a thousand, thousand stars for you. A thousand stars for you? Yes. So not a thousand stars? No. By Christoph Luciano. Christoph. How do you spell Christoph? Eh? As in Christopher, but without the R at the end. Christoph. Eh? I'm going to have to look that on YouTube again. Failing Thou that, I'm going to be asking a couple thousand of thousand stars. Stars for you. Yes. By Christoph Luciano. It's 1,000 stars for you. Okay. Unbelievable. It's still a thousand. It's... You got it wrong. Yes. I read it out wrong. Have you found it? I have found it. Okay. So you are listening. I might have to intersperse the request with stuff that I know Cole knows, otherwise it really, most of this will be you guys just watching Cole listen. Because Cole's been working on uh, some ABBA recently as well, so maybe I'll get Cole to do that at some ABBA. So what's this? Thou One thousand. One thousand. thousand. It's very plinky, plinky. Plinky, what? As in for a ding, 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 ding sound. Okay. Um, yeah. Plinky, plinky. Yeah, no, it sounds as in that kind of what... I haven't had anyone compliment me like that before. Well, no, I'm you just saying... You sound very plinky, plinky. No, I'm just saying the style of music is very plinky, plinky, like a... Um, like a... Well, obviously, you won't remember. It's like when you're a, um, a baby and uh, sure. the musical things kind of go around your head. It goes bing, 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 bing. So, right, rather than you just continue to look stuff up, I'm going to go and uh, suggest one thing. Why don't you play a bit of Fulé Vu, which obviously you have been, um, you've created a cover for. 
Okay, Villevue. Yes, because otherwise we're all just going to continue watching you play. Go okay. Um, well, yeah, Villevue, I played at St. Pancras yesterday. So yeah. we'll play it today because I've yeah. never played him before. Okay. There you are. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. How can you not be out of breath by the end of that? <laughs> okay. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm kind of expect you to be out of breath by the end, but you're not, which is, which is good. Um, but yes, you did that yesterday, um, full version as well, which was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, 
which is fantastic. Right, okay, a few more, because um, we have to go out for dinner. And um, Ari's here, so um, hopefully the dinner was fantastic, Ari, in the cave. I don't, I've not eaten cave. in a cave before, but yes. Yes, um, you weren't. You didn't see her earlier. Ari's um, late because she's um, met, uh, met some friends and, and had dinner in, in that cave. Um, <laughs> yes, okay. Well, a cave restaurant, not ate, just gone and sat in a cave and oh. eaten, right? Oh, that'd um, be a bit weird. No, that'd be cool. I think that'd be fantastic, actually. Take a picnic and sit in a cave and eat. But anyway, right, two more, and then um, if Fanzo doesn't ask again, one more from Fanzo, which is... Um, you can listen to this one, because I don't think you know it, and then we'll do Destiny's uh, one, and then Fanzo, if Fanzo doesn't ask again. Um, which is... Uh, I've lost it. Don asked. Right. You're going to have to look this one up. Yep. One-eyed... One-eared, flying purple people eater. There you go. What? That, exactly. Wait. That's what I thought. Second. Um, oh, uh, that, re that reminds me. Um, apparently, you, you've uh, someone, uh, Kayla, asked you on YouTube that um, asked you to play La Cabanella, but uh, apparently being the hardest song, and you said it wasn't the hardest song. Right. Oh. Yeah. So, and you said you're you're gonna do that at some point. Yeah. Okay. But not today, because I, I know totally you. I know you need point. to. But it's an FTCL thing. It's similar to. You, you mentioned that to me anyway, right? Uh, similar to Flight of the Bumblebee, the thing you kind of kind of slung in the middle of a jazz, the Capanella. There's another one that's really popular. People seem to ask for, that for whatever reason, it's supposedly the hardest, but it's not. But um. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. That's um, called Rush E. Anyways. Well, yeah, because was about a year ago, everyone was saying how Rush E was the hardest thing in the world. Uh, but clearly, Rush E is not the hardest thing in the world. Mm. <coughs> Sorry. So what's the, what's the song, then? Um, anyway, let's do the, uh, the one-eyed, one-eared, flying purple peeper. Hang on, hang on. Say that slower. One-eyed. One-eyed. One-eared. Flying purple. By the time you've typed that, surely Amazon Music has suggested... One-eyed, one-horned purple people eater. That'll be it. But there's nothing coming up. Um, no, in that case, it's one-eyed... Well, I'm going one to search, on, on, search on YouTube. One-eyed, one one-eared, one not horned. But the first thing I see is one-horned. In fact, there's only one... Oh, wait, never mind. One, wait, one-eyed, one one-eared purple... Flying purple eater. Yes, that's it. Flying purple people you'll eat up, but that's what Don's written, so maybe it may not be the exact title. Okay, well, let's just hope this is the right one. It just says the purple people eater. Maybe that's what it is. One eyed, one eared. I mean, Don is very specific, so I'm guessing it is right. I'm going to look it up too. My microphone's picking up all my typing. One-eyed, one horn, flying purple pupil eater. Song by Sheb Woolley. It'll be that one. This must be the main bit. The interesting thing is, apart from Don, will anyone else know the song? Useless knowledge knows. Okay. Right, go for it. That reminds me of the duck song. Can you play a bit of the duck song? You don't have to sing it. You could, you can sing it. Why don't you sing it?
And you should release that at some point. In, nice, fact, you nice were try. in fact, you were meant to release um, other stuff over the, um, over the summer holiday, but you've been busy. But yeah, the duck song, you should do that at some point and release it and sing well, it on ukulele <laughs> or no piano. Um, right, anyway, a um, couple more. Uh, and we get to that Vanzo, as Vanzo has been behaving in this for a bit. So, um, Destiny asked, can you play the song from Mario, as in presumably the Mario theme? Okay. Is that what it's going to do? And done. Well, actually, do you know the Tetris theme? Thinking about video I, game music. Uh, yeah, actually, I do. Go on then. Let's just go on then. Yeah, that's just for me. for the dun at the end and does it speed up i mean i i played Tetris yeah. a long time ago as in when when the game when you get near the end when the, the blocks go faster and faster and faster and faster probably speeds up yeah i don't know guess what i'm about to say no yes go for it <laughs> Just level 14. Does it go to level 74? <laughs> <laughs> Your hair's gotten a bit fluffy. <laughs> Very good. Actually, you should do that in public. Without without less of the stomping, so we can actually hear it. Because I'm feeling the stomping through the table. Oh. Um, uh, not a table, through the floor. Um, but no, that's cool. Um, actually, maybe you should do a series of video game um, um, tunes. Because that's cool. Speaking of video game tunes, though, um, the Sonic Channel asked, well, one more. Um, the Splash Hill Zone theme what? from Sonic 4. As you can imagine, the Sonic Channel likes <coughs> Sonic. Um, I used to play Sonic a lot on Sega. Sega's brilliant. The Smash Hill what? Splash Hill Zone. Splash Hill. Zone theme. Zone. Sonic was brilliant. Theme. Sonic was, um, well, I'm sure most of the people know, Sonic was um, Sega's answer to Mario, but didn't quite um, get anywhere near Mario, but obviously he was very big in himself. I don't know if you guys can pick it up. Cole's out of breath. I can hear it in, uh, I can hear it in my... Um, uh, in my ear because it's um, I've got the headphones going straight into my ear. I'm assuming Cole has found it. <sighs> <laughs> Go 
get whatever. Yeah. Okay, so this is Splash Hill zone. theme zone zone theme. <laughs> Very good with the bit at the end. Right, okay, fine. We're about to do Fanzo's request. <laughs> the big finale. Yes. However, before you do that, um, Daniel Odom just popped in and asked for what was the internet memes hardest piano last year? Rushy. Yes. Go for it. <laughs> Anyway, well, it's kind of hard. I want to know how to type fans of his request. No, you don't actually. It's just always on my mind. What? That's all it is. It's always on my. What do you mean you don't know always on my mind? How do you spell it's always on my mind? I'm joking. Always. You on my mind. Do you not know always on my mind? It's just always on my mind. Yeah. Is it not Elvis? Oh. And I don't know. Hang on, it's Pet Shop Boys. No, always on my mind is Elvis. It's well, like Pet Shop a song Boys. by the Pet Shop Boys. Yes, but and then there's Elvis Presley right underneath it. Clearly, it's the Elvis Presley one. It makes no difference. Well, yes, you're right. It probably does mean, but one is cover, and one is Elvis, and clearly Elvis is Elvis. Actually, we've not watched the Elvis movie. Hang on, I don't know if you. Are you guys hearing me kind of echoey? In my ear, I'm echoing on, um, but as I said, we've been trying a new setup today. Um, Cole's mic seems to sound fine, whereas mine oddly seems to echo. Well, at least in my ear it's echoing. I'm not sure if it's meant to. Hey, was the chorus? Oh, wait, this is it. I'm amazed you don't know. Of not heard or always on my mind. Ah, okay, no, okay. Must be just my headphones. This is a bit weird. Thank you. Yeah, we're just trying a new setup because of um, using the vocal mic and the piano. The piano normally has two mics. Um, and it still has two mics, but it's kind of rooted through a mixer into one mic or one channel and then um, into this, this Rode, whatever it is, Rodecaster Pro. So it means I can actually control four mics or four, four channels at the same time. Right, so I can't believe you don't know Elvis, but you're going to play it having just heard it. Okay. You need to listen to more Elvis, but go for it then. I'll give you a B. So B, so not good. It was all right, but it's not really. I think actually, to do it justice, I think this is something you need to learn and create your own arrangement properly in public. Okay. And you could even dedicate it to fans, so. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But no, seriously, um, you, you've done other Elvis ones. I'm amazed you haven't heard of Always On My Mind. Mm. Um, but, okay. We've got to go um, to, well, our restaurant booking's at seven, so we need to uh, go. We need to run. We need to um, kind of get quickly and run. Before you do, can you play a little bit for me? So you don't want to run? Well, I do, because no, we this, this will be short. Okay, well. Um, which is Canon and D nicely. Are you serious? Yes. All the things you could have asked for.
Right. Very are. good. Right. You need to play classical more, especially like Claire de Lune um, and things like that. Stuff that I like. Um, but as uh, Scott has said and Bob has said, it wasn't quite always on my mind. And as I've replied to Bob, yes. It wasn't I'll, quite in your mind. It's actually I was, in your mouth. I was being generous with a B. <laughs> it was C. <laughs> C at best. Um, but you need to learn it properly okay. um, and do it in public. In fact, maybe you need to learn it and do it by next Sunday. There you go. Okay, well. If we have time. Yes. So I have Actually, guys... speaking of which, there are two things. I'm going to let everyone know the challenge that uh, I've given you on the piano. One, which is... Uh, or play Astorious. Astorious, which is Emma's guitar Emma's guitar um, And then play Learn Fight the Bumblebee. At least the right hand to right hand fix to your right hand a little fix bit. Fix my right hand. Put your right hand. Play a little bit of a story as yeah. a proof. Come on, we've got to go, so hurry up. <laughs> Um, Emma's been playing that on guitar and I hadn't realised um, Emma's about to do her grade 8 at some point but that is that piece is apparently an ATCL diploma piece really? yes it's not even a grade 8 piece so Emma's just been messing around playing that and I think you should um, um, do that on piano I think, I think you're lying pretty... to me I don't I don't know you should look it up and the other thing is obviously fighting the bumblebee. As okay. Obviously, it's more fun. But we have to leave. So thank you. Apologies for all the dead air um, because um, we can't, we simply can't uh, play in the copyrighted music or yes. um, YouTube. We'll eat the channel as we know. Oh, thank but, you, everyone, uh, for joining. Like, subscribe. Much. Yes, Stay absolutely. Tuned. And we have to run. So, okay, um, goodbye.